Hi everybody, Greg here, and welcome to another episode of 3D Archery. This week on 3D Archery, we're going to discuss another one of my eBay buys. Yeah, I, I buy a lot of stuff off eBay. Only bows though. And this is the Colt Model 960. It's a 60 inch bow with a draw weight of 40 pounds at 26 inches. Now the Model 960 was first introduced in 1959 and ran till 1963. Same year I was born. See? In 1964 the model number was changed to the 704, but the design was pretty much the same. Then in 1965 it became the Model 707. And if you watch my videos, you know that's my bow. I have three Model 707s including the original bow that was my father's that I learned on. I love coat bows. They are just awesome. Now, try to date my bow and if you know anything about a Ben Pearson bow, you know they are dated by these logos right here. And By using those logos and the catalogs that I have, I'm very confident that this bow was built between 1962 and 1963. The big thing that tells me that is the early models from 59 to 61 had a leather hand wrap and the leather grip the grip area here is slightly different besides that the bow stayed pretty much the same and then you throw in the logos and it's pretty much spot on now the design of this bow let me read you from the Ben Pearson catalog how they describe this bow because I just love things from the old days you know they just describe things different it says a custom quality bow in every detail Featuring laminated, glass-powered limbs of semi-working recurve design. Full view sight window with arrow rest providing center shot release. Custom Dacron string, the ideal introductory bow to better archery at a surprisingly low cost. Here's the specs they give you. Model number 960. Length, 5 feet. I love how they did feet. Now we went to inches here uh, recently. Weights 25, 30, 35, 40 at 26 inches. Recommended brace height is 6.5 to 7 inches. Now this is the next part I find pretty cool. Draw limit 28 inches. But it's 26 inches, it's 40. Can't wait to put on the scale and see what it shows at 28. And then it says specified draw weight. I guess you, you can buy these from the catalog, you can have them made order. It says available in left hand models at no extra charge. Allow two weeks delivery on left hand models. You know, once again, you guys are just picking on us lefties. All right, let's go. You know, we read the description, but let's look at this bow. In all truth, this is really a long bow. It's not a recurve yet. You know, this is, in today's stuff, this is just a, I think they call them deflex today, right? It's just a slight curve. It's not like a recurve like we have today. And you know, some things I love about it is that they did a lot of work in these laminations. You can see special lines there. So they put wood going this way, wood going this way, and on the back handle, right here, you can see they actually put sections in like that. You know, the only people you see doing that stuff today are the custom boyers. You don't see the mass produced people doing that anymore. You know, so we're going to take it now. I'm going to put it on my scale, string it, and then we're going to see how it works. Already seen the polish test, it's pretty much on. One thing I will say, it's a brand new string, hasn't stretched, and it's just a little more than brace height. It's about seven and a little more than three quarters. So it may not shoot perfect, but um, if I let it sit overnight, it will stretch. So now I'm going to put on my old chronograph here, and let's see how it's working. I'm going to shoot my 500 spines that I used for my other 40 pounders. So I'm going to back up a wee bit. Give myself some room. One twenty-five. I might have to back up even more. Change my camera angle, I think. 
142. You know, that sounds about right. One thirty four. So I'm going to shoot three more and then we'll see how they do. One twenty four. One thirty eight. 137. Due to the 26-inch draw length, and I'm getting what I think I'm close to, I'd have to say, you know, that 130s, mid-130s is about right. All right, now I'm going to play with it and give you some impressions on how I feel it shoots. All right, here I am in my basement. I have a 9-yard range, and I'm just going to play. You know, I didn't buy this bow really to use it. I'll tell you when we're done what I bought it for and all that, but I'll give you some impressions on uh, what it feels like. <laughs> well, okay, 26 inch draw is really weird. I want to bring my hand to the side of my mouth. You know, I can do it. There's some stack, but um, you have to fight your way through the stack. And that one was almost right on the bullseye. Yeah, okay. That was horrendous form. <laughs> it's not where I'm used to my anchors. Hand shock, nothing. It's pretty silent. Uh, the grip, you know, it's not that bad. I actually like this type of grip. You know, it's... For, for as little as I got it, this is a great bow. All right, I'm going to take a few more shots, give you some more impressions. Tell you, I hit my anchor. It goes where I'm looking. Ha-ha! <laughs> Sorry. I'll show you this one. Not bad. All right. All right. Zoom on in. Telephoto. All right. This is the first time I ever shot the bow. I bought it and just let it sit around. So you know what? Very pointable bow. You know what? Not a bad bow overall. All right. Let's go back and give you my final reviews and thoughts. All right, everybody. You know, the Ben Pearson... Colt model 960. Not really a recurve, a little, a little more than a longbow. It's really a longbow. And they're pretty rare on eBay. I've only found a couple of them, and I bought this one. And the reason I bought it, yes, I love Ben Pearson bows. But I also love the creative process. So this was the Colt from 1959 to about 1964. Then, for some reason, they wanted to change it. Why was that? Was it for just because that's what people wanted? They all wanted recurve bows? Or was there something about the design? You know, the handle, maybe the handle, or the harder recurve limbs? And that's what fascinates me. You know, things like that. I love people that look at things, they make it, and they go, you know what? Can we improve it this way? Can we do that? And that's why I bought this. I wanted to see what was the difference between this and the one I learned on. And you know what, there is some difference, design differences. And yes, the speed is definitely different. Now it's a lot smaller, you know, 60 inch bows. I think it's one of the shortest bows I have. Stack, eh, a little, you know, getting back to 28, but it's not as bad as my, my jet bows that I have. The, that one jet bow had incredible stack. And shot where I looked. So if you can find one on eBay, play your, play your cards wisely. You can get them at a nice price. I think this bow is perfect for the beginner, person of smaller stature, you know, like a tween, somebody in their 16s, not a tween, tweens before 16, huh? You know, about a 15 or 16 year old that's not really there. I loaned this out, we went to a 3D course, and I gave it to one of my kids in the karate school and let them shoot it. 
and I'm telling you, he had a ball. And it, I don't know who had much more fun, him shooting it or me watching him use an old bow and just fall in love with archery. All right, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you've got anything you want me to try to check out, you know, I'm not a rich person, but I, I'm, I'm okay. I'll try my best to either get my hands on one and review it. And if you have a 3D course, let me know. All right, and I'll see you next week with an all-new edition of 3D Archery.